All right, what's going on Amazon community? Super excited to be here with everybody today. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through the Pro Extension by AMZ Scout. Uh, for anybody who's not aware of AMZ Scout, they are a software provider or software as a service provider uh, that has an entire suite of awesome, awesome tools that help Amazon sellers and Amazon resellers uh, go out there, find awesome products to either sell on Amazon or help them find awesome products to create and bring to the marketplace. AMZ Scout has an entire suite of very detailed, very precise product research tools. And I'm really excited to be uh, going over and sharing with everybody my experiences with the um, Pro extension, the Pro Chrome extension. Um, with that being said, I'm gonna drop a link below this video for anybody who wants to hop on this Pro extension and add it to their, uh, to their product researching tactics. Super easy to download, super easy to use. And that's what this video is all about today. I'm gonna walk you through all of the important features of this tool, okay? So once you have the tool on your computer and enabled, all you gotta do is head over to an Amazon uh, browser or an Amazon window, search the product or search the brand name or search some of the keywords that you want uh, to have the products displayed by, okay? So in this case, I'm just gonna stick with the toothpaste, toothpaste Colgate products. Okay, so now that our page has fully populated and we have a full page of, uh, of products to, to put into our tool here, you'll notice that I have a little pop-up right here because I have the Chrome extension enabled on my computer. Just go ahead, hit that little pop-up. So then the AMZ Scout uh, Chrome extension Pro will then uh, populate and it'll start pouring all of that data into, um, into the tool here. Okay, so it looks like most of the data has been populated in here. So right away, um, I'm noticing so much information here. I, I hardly even know where to begin explaining. I'm just gonna start at the top here and, and work my way left to right, uh, top to bottom, okay? So first thing we have here on the AMZ Scout Pro Chrome tool, shows us the amount of results that are on this page, okay? So we get 48 results here. Combined uh, is the average monthly uh, sales. We have the average sales rank. We have the average price, average amount of reviews, a visibility score. So if you just hover over the visibility score, you're able to actually see what AMZ Scout is defining a uh, visibility score as, you know, it's a percentage of users have found this niche. Uh, a very small number of sellers have noticed this niche while researching the market. The changes are the chances of making a successful business and significant profit in this niche are extremely high. So a visibility score of one uh, is obviously more desirable than a vis visibility score of five, eight, and so on like that, right? The higher you go, uh, the higher the visibility score is, right? Low visibility score means an untapped niche or an undiscovered uh, niche. And then combined with that is a niche score. So again, just hover your mouse over the niche score like this. I'm not sure why it's not popping up. Um, the niche score, again, it goes into some depth here. You know, the overall score may be hard to succeed. Uh, profit, demand, competition, and then it'll just go through it and, and kind of spell out its analysts, analytics on uh, on this product detail page. So that's the top row. Oh, niche, niche history right here, okay? So niche history. So we just click on this. Okay, so it'll populate a nice little window here with all kinds of awesome data points. So in the orange, we have the overall amount of uh, sales shown on this bar graph here. Then we have the um, rank and the price, and you're able to follow all that along. The price is this line right here. The rank is this dark line. And then the sales again are um, these orange bar graphs. Right on the bottom, it just shows you a view over time. And then on the side here is the, uh, is the representation of sales. On this side over here is price. And of course, this is the rank in right here, okay? So this is an awesome, awesome bar graph. You're able to, you know, hover over that at any given amount of time for the last number of years and really get a detailed look at uh, the niche history for this specific brand or specific product. If you choose to put a product in there, uh, again, this, this tool will work on a, uh, a sales page or a product detail page, no matter what part of Amazon you're browsing on. And then here's a button that allows you to toggle between pages, changes your view right here if you want. Um, and we go down through and we're able to actually look at every single product that's available on this first page. It tells you 
uh, a product score for private labeling. So again, if you were to go ahead and set up a private label product against some of these well-known national brands like Colgate, Crest, all that stuff, you know, you probably wouldn't have such a good chance at, at trying to uh, launch a, a private label product against these brands. But let's say you wanted to go in and you wanted to resell these products. However, as you can see, the opportunity scores here change quite a bit. And if you just click on the opportunity score, um, it'll just tell you right here. Product score for private label, not so good. Product score for reselling, looking a little favorable, right? Six, it's not as bad as the three, right? So you can follow that all the way down. You can see the products that have identified with a really good chance of succeeding for reselling. Um, take a quick guess at that. You know, there's a low number of competitors, low amount of price gouging, a uh, high number of reviews, uh, high sales cost, all that stuff, right? That's what would constitute uh, a good product to resell. Okay, low number of sellers right here, as you can see, five. The rank is 32,000, which is you know fairly good in the health and household category. Price. Price isn't so good because I can tell that this is like a three pack or oh, it's a four pack, five pack, sorry. Wow. Five pack for $12. So, I mean, that's not the greatest product to try and resell, but um, it gives you a really good helpful insight as to what, you know, products are performing like in this niche or in this category. So you can see the fees, you can see the net margin after the fees, you can see the estimated amount of monthly sales. You can check the monthly revenue, uh, number of reviews, uh, it tells you the rating, tells you when it was available from. And then one thing I really, really like here is the uh, the types of sellers that are on the listing or the types of sellers that are, are winning the buy box, right? For us, who, us wholesalers that are reselling this product, trying to source it from a wholesaler a supplier and then turn around and sell it on Amazon. We want to know, you know, is there an opportunity to sell this FBA or is there an opportunity to go out and maybe find a fulfillment by merchant FBM product, right? So I'm just gonna scroll down here and see if there's any FBM opportunities that I can point out. There we go, Merchant Fulfilled, MCH. So then, uh, you know, you're able to identify, are you an FBA seller? Okay, great, here's some product that, you know, would be good for your FBA style business. Or are you uh, a Merchant Fulfilled seller? Like myself and our, our Amazon business, we actually ship a, a quite a, a variety of product from our own warehouse now. So, you know, we're able to capitalize on the Merchant Fulfilled opportunities. And with that comes a whole other bunch of uh, you know, tactics for sourcing and stuff like that. And that's why I really, really like the AMZ Scout Pro extension is because no matter if you're trying to do an FBA strategy or an FBM fulfillment by merchant strategy, uh, the AMZ Scout Pro Chrome extension will help you with your strategy, right? And again, if you want to click on some of these products, it'll give you a whole other uh, list or a whole other uh, variety of tools and actions, you know, you can actually add it to the product tracker just from this Chrome extension because you have a, an AMZ Scout account. Uh, all the tools are linked. So certain functionalities that lay within one tool can be transferred over to another tool. Go so talking about the uh, AMZ Scout product tracker. For those of you who didn't get the opportunity to watch that yet, I highly encourage you to take a look at it. But to summarize up the uh, AMZ Scout product tracker, it allows you to add products such as the one that we're looking at right now, it allows you to add products like number 30 here, if you wanted to, uh, you could add it to the product tracker. That way, you know, all of these statistics right here, like the uh, sales rank, the price, the net fees after margin, the overall estimated amount of revenue, all that stuff, you could gauge it over a period of time instead of just looking at it now uh, on today's date and then trying to remember it, you know, two weeks from now or five days from now, right? Just go hit this button and bang goes right into your product tracker where you then you're able to track it right here is a another handy tool by amz scout and that's the profit calculator um all you have to do is plug in you know your 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 fixed costs like your shipping if you have any warehousing fees and then of course your cost of goods and then all of a sudden this tool is able to start telling you hey there's actually some profit in this product this is what you can expect to make after you've you've sourced the product and shipped it to amazon uh product history so we'll quickly expand on that. It just shows you the actual product and its history while on Amazon versus, you know, this graph that we pulled up a couple of minutes ago was the history for the entire niche and how that was performing over a certain amount of time, you know, in respect to sales, the rank, the price, all that sort of thing, right? And again, the graph is laid out exactly like it was when I explained it earlier. Price, the rank on this side, uh, and then you have the sales number on this side. 
with uh, date and time on the bottom. And then of course, if you want to be able to expand and look at different time snapshots um, based on the year, you just toggle between one month, two months, six months, a year, so on. And if you want to grab some keywords, so if you want to you know, create your own listing or spy on the competitors to see what makes uh, the competitor's product or competitor's uh, listing high on the search results, all you have to do is go in, hit the uh, grab keywords button, and it'll populate all of the top keywords that this product is ranking for, or this listing is ranking for. And then you just go ahead, export it to CSV. So that pulls it out of the tool and allows you to put it into uh, an Excel sheet that you can filter through and you can go ahead and save it for later and use it when you want to build your listing out, right? Here's a neat little button. It'll allow you to hit that and it'll be a quick link and it'll search it on Alibaba. So private label sellers, you know, this works really well for you guys and gals. If you want to source, you know, this little fidget or this little phone case or this water bottle uh, and you want to find it on Alibaba, you just go hit that and it'll start populating Alibaba search results. Uh, much the same with this Google button here, where if you want to find the product on Google, all you do is go ahead, hit that Google button and it'll start populating it on Google. And again, if you scroll down through, I mean, there's an entire list with the first page here of all the products and all the statistics for each product. So it's a great tool. I really, really recommend it for anybody who wants to take their product researching to the next level and start, you know, introducing some more tools and, uh, and things like that into their product researching process. I use this tool all the time in my Amazon business, and I've actually given it to our uh, lead buyer who buys all the inventory for our Amazon stores. Um, and he loves it. He gives it great reviews and uh, continues to use it, you know, every single time he's in there looking at products and looking at products to source and, and all that good stuff. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I know I really enjoyed creating it and, and presenting it to everybody. Uh, I look forward to being able to uh, walk everybody through the next video. Hope everybody has a great rest of the day. Thank you.